Okay, hi guys. Welcome to the uh, beginner circuit workout phase two. This is um, now going into your week nine. Okay, guys. So um, again, it's a little bit more advanced now. So a couple more techniques in there that you haven't seen, and um, obviously a little bit more um, hard on the cardiovascular system, which is what, what we need now. Okay. So um, what we're going to do, guys, we're going to start with this time eight reps of a barbell deep squat. But I'm just going to show you a little bit of the variation in case you can't quite get the deep squat right. Um, from there you'll go to 8 reps of push-ups, um, then we'll go 50 reps of dumbbell bent over rows, 8 reps of dumbbell alternate lunges now, 15 reps of heavy this time, a lot heavier than you did last time, so we can really start getting stronger, okay? Um, then after that guys, we'll go into 20 reps of insteps, a bit more cardiovascular for you guys, then 8 reps of standing shoulder barbell press, um, dumbbell shoulder press, sorry, and then 10 reps of reverse crunches. So um, I'll just go through the technique with you guys. Um, <clears throat> first of all, barbell deep squat, okay? Um, you've seen how I did last time with the, with the dumbbells. Now I'm just going to use um, the barbell now. This is just I'm trying to teach you how to squat with the barbell. So later on down the track, we can lift heavier um, with the bar, obviously. Um, so from here, Put on your back, so instead of having your, your dumbbells down by your sides, now what you're going to do is have this on the back. It's very important that you don't grab a hold of the bar really, really tight, okay? You want to hold it just in your fingertips, okay? And you let it actually rest on your shoulders, on the back of your shoulders, like so, okay? Now for a deep squat, it's exactly like you did in the last program for the four weeks with the dumbbells. So you, you just stick your butt out. You sit down and you push up through your heels and push straight up. And make sure your head's up, look into the sky. Again, if you look down, it'll make your back round. We don't want that at all. So head up, squat all the way down, push up. Again, push up. Again, we don't want to unlock our knees, guys. That's why we extension, so keep them from doing that. Again, all the way down, push up. All the way down, push up, okay? Now, for some of you who are having difficulty with that, grab a bench like so, okay, and you'll do this. Be, be about a foot away from the bench, sit back, sit all the way down the bench, okay? What we want to see, guys, is that my knee doesn't go over my ankle joint, okay? We don't want this. Very dangerous for your knees. You want to actually push the weight up through your heels up that way. So we sit back, and we drive straight up. We sit down, we push straight up, okay? So if for some of you who are struggling with a deep squat, use this variation and then just move forward and try again. So we sit all the way down and we push up. Sit down, push up. Cool guys? So that is technique, okay? Um, so for the next one, we're going to move into, um, move into push ups. So you did knee push ups last time. So you should be now strong enough to do a normal push up without using your knees, hopefully. Um, what you want to do, guys, is let's say you start again in this thing, knees out on the ground, we come all the way down and we push up. And again, push up. Now, let's say you start off and you can only do two reps this way, okay? You've, you've tried, oh, and you've tried, and you've got two out, and you don't think you can do any more, then we go to our knees again, guys, okay? and use your knees, like so. For some of you that will fail on that, then go back to your baby push-ups to get the last couple out. But try as many as you can like this now. As many as you can, okay? For some of you, you'll get eight out, not a problem. For so some, you struggle. But if you've done the process, you've been consistent with your training, you should be able to do that push-up. Okay, next one we go, which we did last time, is the alternate rows. But I've stepped it up a bit. With these ones, guys, now, you know the technique I showed you before, head over and we pull and we pull up like so. Yep, pretty straightforward. This time we're gonna do 50 reps, guys. We really wanna get your heart elevated. Okay, next one is the dumbbell alternate lunges. So last time we didn't use dumbbells. So now, same technique, dumbbells on your sides. As you go forward, back leg down, back to the beginning. Again, back leg down, back to the beginning. But the dumbbells just stay by your sides, okay? This is adding some resistance, so your legs should be getting a lot stronger now, and this will really help you. So 
eight reps there, guys. Now, the next one is um, a heavy. So, for some of you who have used maybe two to three kilos, now I want you to go up at least double the weight, even triple the weight. I want this to be quite heavy. You should have enough strength now. So, the technique again, I've got a lot heavier. It's pretty hard down here. As you push up, straight in the dumbbells. So push up. This is going to help with overall upper body strength through your triceps, shoulders, and chest. <coughs> push up. And again. Like so, guys. I'll show you the technique there. You should be pretty cool with that one. Okay. Next one is, we haven't done this one before, is insteps. Again, this is for cardiovascular. So, the way it's going to work, guys, is you're going to pull your foot in, you're going to touch the inside of your heel like this, okay? So it flicks up on the side and you're going to touch. But the thing is, is you want to be like, wants to be like this. So, this knee comes on a side angle and you just touch the inside of your foot. Same here. Pretty straightforward. If you feel a bit uncoordinated, just do it like so. Just to get the idea and then just slowly, slowly, slowly speed it up until you feel comfortable to just go one after the other. Okay? You'll know when you do 20 reps, it's pretty full on. It looks quite sort of, you think, hmm, yeah, looks pretty simple, but oh, it gets the heart rate pumping. Okay, next one is the barbell shoulder press. So we're going to do this standing, and there's two ways you can do it. You can have both feet together, standing like so, and just the reason why we want to bend a little bit in our knees is so that we release our lower back and we drive up, bang. As we come down, our knees come down with it. We push up, I'll show you on the side. So as I go down, my knees, I use my knees to bend, and then I push up, and I go back. We want this bar to go in a little bit of an arc. So you'll notice when I push it, it goes up and back over my head. It's not here, guys. Yep, so again, back behind me. Back behind me, just like so. Okay, for some other people who prefer to do a split stance, I prefer this way because the weight's actually in the middle of my body. Okay, and it's like a little bit of a lunge. It's a little bit of a lunge, boom. Back behind you. See, it comes right to my chest. I don't stop here, get full range of motion. Just like so. Good, so that's pretty straightforward. Um, moving on from that one is the reverse crunches. So, um, I'm coming here like this. So lay down the mat. Now this is quite a difficult exercise, but for your abs, but it really does work. Okay, so get your hands, I like to put one just sort of underneath my butt, a bit of padding, and it actually um, helps when you pull back here for a stretch. So start quite straight, don't let your feet hit the ground guys. So from here, as your knees come up, your head comes up and you squeeze in here. That's a reverse crunch. Back out, head touches the ground, your feet don't touch the ground. Squeeze, back to the beginning, squeeze, back to the beginning, squeeze. Back to the beginning, again, squeeze. Back to the beginning, squeeze. Okay, pretty straightforward there, guys. When you lift up, lift your knees and squeeze in tight. And then back. Don't let your feet hit the ground, okay? You feel that pull. Okay, so 10, 10 reps of those, guys. So that's moving on. Um, we do this for four weeks, and that'll be completion of your 12 weeks, guys, and we should see a pretty massive transformation. Okay, um, and like I said before, you'll be able to move on to something like the uh, weight loss challenge, which is um, three circuits, but they're quite full on. But this would have, this right now has prepared you for that, because the um, functions of the exercises are all related to those things. So um, you'll find it, you know, pretty easy to adjust. Okay, so what we're going to do, guys, is I'm going to run through it how it should be with real intensity. Okay, that real bang, 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 bang. Okay, so let's start. Uh, once again, guys, have your timer. It's good to time yourself, but don't sacrifice form, okay? So we're going to start with deep squats. So here we go, eight reps. And 
And notice how my butt comes right down, right down there. Boom. So, eight reps, straight into your push ups. So it's 50, you will feel your hamstrings here guys, really good, it's a static hold. Okay, so I'll keep these in my hands, 8 reps, all to the lunges. Yeah, dumbbells, that's for a lot more strength there guys. Okay, in steps. So, for you guys, if you need to rest, rest by all means. Same principle, guys. Rest as long as you need to, then get back into it. Your progression should be to try and eliminate those times a little bit more. Until finally you can do it all three without resting. Okay, I'm just going to demonstrate for some of you guys who need to use the bench. Okay, here we go. up to the sky. Keeps your back straight. Think that's it. Okay. Push ups. I'm going to demonstrate again what you should do if, you, if you're going to fatigue. So let's say I can only do one, two, three. Go to your knees guys. Continue. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool? Okay, next one, rows, 50 reps. Heavy dumbbell press. <clears throat> okay, next one. 
Oh, sorry. Fifteen of those. <laughs> It is true guys, personal trainers can't count but they can lift heavy things. Okay, next one is in steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Twenty. Shoulder press. I'm gonna do this variation to show you the other way if you want to feel comfortable this way. So you push back behind you. Get your heart elevated. Okay, lunges. Fifteen, I've got it. Okay, in steps. Twenty, good job. Okay. Okay, so all the best guys, keep up the good work and um, we'll hear from you soon.